The vague outline of the apparition does not allow you to see the face and appearance of the speaker, but you recognize the voice without difficulty. It is your Azada companion, early sunset, and his words radiate dismay. Kwame Planet, I found you at long last. Even with my spells, it was no easy feat in the abyss. Where were you before you came here? I have not yet arrived. I am on my way at the edge of the abyss. I first wanted to contact you to make sure that you were still alive. I did not expect to find you in a Lucianera. It's a nasty place, and its ruler is more dangerous than most of the other demon lords. It goes without saying that you should be incredibly careful here. Why were you looking for me? I bring you the latest news from Galorian. You will surely want to hear it. And I was sincerely worried about you. The abyss is a dangerous place. It's far too easy to disappear there. How wonderful it is to see I am not alone, and that some of your allies from other planes are willing to rush to your aid. Early Sunset does not react to the angel's words. He either does not see the angel, or he does not consider it necessary to answer. So I see. What now? I will soon arrive and meet you in person. Forgive me, but I do not wish to appear within the walls of Illusionera. I will go to the place of the former rift in the Midnight Fane, and I will wait for you there. When we meet, we can speak and exchange news. Good luck. My thoughts are with you. Greetings, Kwame Planet. I am glad to see you have not lost your presence of mind, even on a foreign, hostile plane. What news do you bring from Galorian? Unfortunately... The news is not good. In your absence, relations between the official and free crusaders has worsened. Most of your allies have been banned from Dresden. They have been forced to rely on their own strength alone to fight demons. Queen Galfrey has moved the headquarters for the entire crusade to Dresden, along with part of her court. She has imposed order in the city, or order as she sees it. Many among the Crusaders were saddened by your departure, but others were gladdened by it. They prefer more conservative practices and leaders they can understand. As for the demons, I expected their attacks to intensify, but this has not happened. It seems the attack on the Midnight Fane and the interruption of the supply of crystals dampen their fervor. Demonic activity remains strong near the Threshold Fortress and the maiming of his rift, but it is always strong there. I did not notice that anything changed with your departure. That's all the news I have. I also bring news of the youngest members of your free fellowship. They are training day and night to become true warriors, and they eagerly await your return. They do not believe that the Abyss will devour you. Young people are so full of hope. Are they not? Ah, yes. And as a counterpoint to their zeal, not long after your departure, a letter arrived in Dresden from a priestess in Nerosian by the name of Narita, the former tutor of your young crusaders. You may read it and feel the full force of her rebuke. Do you know anything useful about a Lucianera and its inhabitants? I know that every being capable of speech is capable of deception, and those who cannot speak deceive with silence. If you want more practical advice, do not simply follow the paths laid out for you. You must forge your own. In most places where guards bar your way, there will be a secret path or a hidden teleportation route, the most natural method for a demon. It's rare for demons to rely on locks, as they prefer to kill intruders. But you should be ready for that. Do you recognize the name Hepsamira? Spawn of Baphomet. Early sunset's lips curl with undisguised contempt. She shares one trait with her disgusting father. She is a master of subverting expectations. Many consider Hepsamira powerful, but also think her outspoken and narrow-minded. And she is happy to maintain that reputation. In fact, she is cunning and resourceful and does not always act on impulse. Take care. 
if you plan to move against her. What did you mean when you said Baphomet is a master of subverting expectations? Enemies should be treated with an open mind. Therefore, I cannot fail to acknowledge Baphomet's ingenuity. Do you know how his ascent began? He was the favorite plaything of Lamashtu, but he conceived a plan, a bold plan, to steal the scepter of the Prince of Darkness. He failed. Baphomet was captured, subjected to brutal punishment, and imprisoned in the Ivory Labyrinth, a prison designed to be impossible to escape by its powerful creator, Asmodeus. But a thief is a thief. Baphomet found an ingenious way to escape. He stole his prison from hell and took it to the abyss. The ivory labyrinth went from being his prison to his possession, his abyssal realm. From it, he rules hordes of minotaurs and secret societies of cultists. This is what I meant when I said Baphomet knows how to subvert expectations. What are you planning to do in the abyss? I could accompany you and give you advice, as I did in Dresden. But I see that the role of mentor and bodyguard has already been taken over by the hand of the Inheritor. It is not a good idea to take two otherworldly creatures hostile to demons with you. Even if I were disguised, the chances of attracting unnecessary attention would be doubled. I will stay and watch over the camp. If an emergency arises, I will naturally intervene. But until then, I prefer to conceal my presence in the abyss. Look, a lizard from Elysium. It's just begging to have his wings plucked and his tail torn off. Hey, why are you teasing me? I'll get you for this. Ember covers her face with burned hands and horror. Little Avu, she's been kidnapped. The abyss is fraught with danger, but why do the brightest souls fall prey first? We must find the dragonling. There is no other option. A familiar, hazy apparition appears before you. Early sunset is reaching out to you again. Kwame Planet, what just happened? I sensed a surge of power, your power. It burns hot like a fever. Could you explain more clearly what you sensed and how? I came here to study your power and deal with its chaotic surges. It was not difficult for me to trace it to the moment it manifested. So what happened? Ava was abducted by demons. The dragon? Ah, now I understand. She is the thread tying you to Elysium, and she is inextricably linked to your power. Early sunset is silent for a moment, clearly lost in thought. What an alarming situation. We need to speak as soon as possible. I'll wait for you at the former rift in the Midnight Fane. What can we do to save Avu? First, we need to find her. Under no circumstances should you conduct inquiries within the city or otherwise draw attention to yourself. The kidnappers will know you by sight. No, I will have to conduct this search myself. Of course, I cannot appear in my true form in Illusionera. It would create... Early sunset chuckles, excessive agitation among the demons, but I'm skilled enough at transformation magic to disguise myself as an inhabitant of the abyss. How are you going to search? In the most simple and elegant manner. I will go to the flesh markets disguised as a powerful demon and declare that I want to buy a dragon. Many threads of influence and information converge at the flesh markets. Even if the denizens of that place know nothing about Avu's disappearance, they will stop at nothing to find out where she is, steal her away from her kidnappers, and deliver her to a waiting buyer. We may not even have to lift a finger. What should I do? Stay close at hand in case things go sour. The demons may recognize me, or try to trick me, or even attack me. So be there and be on full alert. Everything seems clear to me. Tell me when you are ready to go to the city, and then I will begin my mission. Arushale, who has been listening to the conversation with some excitement, suddenly looks up. Without shifting her gaze from early sunset, she quietly sings the tune of Starward Gaze. A very sweet song, child.
Thank you, Master Early Sunset. Arushale smiles at him. My heart hurts because of Avu, and I just wanted to express my concern in some way. Songs are good for this. Arushale waits another moment, glances at you, then falls silent. I'm ready to start looking for Avu. Excellent. In that case, I need to get ready. Well, how do I look? Chaotic. Your approach lacks creativity. You could pretend to be an attractive succubus or incubus. That would be extremely unwise. Most succubi, though certainly not all, are subjects of Nocticula. An unknown succubus would raise questions. Much safer to portray a demon from another part of the abyss, though the demon should be powerful enough that others would be too afraid to betray him, at least not immediately. About our plan, I will head to the flesh markets immediately and talk to the merchants about buying a dragon. Go there and be prepared for any surprises. See you there. Early sunset, disguised as a demon, nods at you imperceptibly but aloud he barks out of the way mortal whisper let us begin the translucent apparition of a merilith demon makes a beckoning gesture with her upper pair of arms do you have business with me handsome I see in your eyes that you are looking for me, Remissa Shedskin. I'm looking for a dragon slave, a dragon of pleasant disposition. I serve a great master and his wishes are law. An interesting desire, but you should know that I do not undertake simple orders and transactions. I am an artist, not a merchant. Therefore, tell me, the Merilith moves forward. Tell me why the one you serve needs a dragon. You're wasting my time, Shedskin, but so be it. Some people eat only intelligent, good creatures. Some of them value dragon meat most highly of all, especially when consumed over time. Dragons are tenacious creatures and can survive a long time, even as their limbs are cut off one by one. Fascinating. The Merilith's breath quickens. She makes a few gestures with her hands. Hey, silly larva, did you hear what this unusual customer just requested? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to eat me, are you? I hope you choke on my little bones. Shut up, larva. Think about the future that awaits you, or rather, that doesn't. As for you, my wonderful client, if this specimen suits you, let's discuss the terms. The Merilith lowers her voice to a whisper. Perception 38. Strain to hear. You manage to make out part of the conversation between early sunset and the Merilith. This is the location of my hideout. I will enchant the door to let you in. Once you're there, you will be able to inspect and sample the goods. Good. I hope your warehouse is well guarded. I wouldn't want the dragon to escape or be freed. After finishing the conversation, early sunset gives you a subtle nod. The voice of early sunset suddenly rings in your head. Kwame Planet, I have learned everything I need to know. The riddle was far too easy. Avu was kidnapped by Marissa's hunters to be sold. A typical story in Illusionera. And many who come here as guests end up as slaves at the flesh markets. Anyway, I know where she's being kept. The lair is here in the middle city, and it isn't far. We need to go there. What agreement did you reach with Shedskin? We have agreed that I will go there to inspect the merchandise, and she will spell the doors of her secret hideout to let me in. I see. Well then, let's go get Avu. Of course. Meet me at the entrance to Shed Shin's hideout. Hold her tight. The mistress said this slave is more dangerous than the others. Is there somebody else? What?
But luck, early sunset nods contentedly. We will return the escaped property to Shedskin and either get Avu in return or demand a significant reduction in the price to buy her back. My heart bleeds for poor Avu, but partaking in such evil, even to save the unfortunate child? I have a counter offer. Let me escape and go my own way. Hey, Chief, this bushy tailed gal seems nice and sharp, too. I've got a good feeling about her. We can't leave her to these guys, can we? The Kitsune cast the tiefling a sidelong glance. Listen to this handsome, curly haired man. Please don't sell me out. Wool just stands up straighter. Chaotic. I'm not going to do business with slavers at all. Let's release this fugitive and free Avu. By force, if necessary. I like you. I am Charming Minx. What's your plan? If I get out, I'll find you and treat you to something that will delight your senses. Early sunset frowns, but removes the enchantment. Kwame Planted has come here from Galarian, from a city called Dresden. Perhaps we should help you escape the abyss. No need. I have things to do here. Someone owes me a lot of money. So goodbye. For now, at least. Kwame Planted, you're finally here! I missed you so, 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 so much! And you, evil demon, didn't believe me when I said my friends would save me. Oh, that reminds me. She set up an amp. The familiar projection of Remissa Shedskin appears next to Avu's cell. How is it that my handsome buyer turned out to be fake? He brought the owner of this dragon larva to my lair. Should I be surprised? The demon lets out a mocking laugh. <laughs> Did I mention that I treat every act of the slave trade as a performance? This is my plan for this scene. The hero thinks he has foiled the villainess's plans and is about to free her pet, but he is ambushed and is instead forced to compromise his principles. So which will it be? Will you try to fight my guards or will you pay 100,000 gold coins and walk away humiliated? <laughs> you stole my dragon from me and now you're trying to sell it back to me? The demon laughs loudly. <laughs> you are in the abyss, you foolish creature. The abyss. Do you understand? Attack. You wish you never met me, Shedskin. Do you know why they call me Shedskin? Because I prefer not to appear in the flesh. All my enemies see is a projection, a shell, and attacking it will not kill me. Enjoy your victory, outsider. Everything will soon change. Are you really going to let this go? We rescued Avo and she's safe. Shouldn't we make the slavers pay for what they did? Yes, we have to do something. They grabbed me and hurt me and hurt others. Many, many others. They are bad. What do you want to do? Let's go to that nasty market and free all the slaves. <laughs> Wait, that's what a little kid would say. L let me say it another way. Avu takes a deep breath, wrestling with her emotions. We can't defeat the entire abyss and change everything here forever. But if we retreat, the demons will keep doing whatever they want. We need to show everyone, including those poor slaves, that there is a way out and that these filthy demons can be defeated. I can only add that our dear Shedskin is not as cunning as she thinks. I tracked down the source of her projection. She is currently at the flesh markets. If you go there now, you may catch her. Good. If we can free the slaves and help even a single person, that's what we're going to do. Good luck. I'll be nearby in case any powerful forces come to the aid of the slavers. <laughs> 